We are three days away from Christmas, and if you're thinking about last minute gift cards, don't buy one until you see this story. Gift card fraud is up, and the crooks are getting more creative on how they're getting their hands on your money. I use gift cards because sometimes like people don't know exactly what they want, but they know exactly where they love to shop. Tis the season of giving and taking when it comes to holiday gift card scams. The small cards can be worth big bucks and Scrooges are working overtime to take your hard earned money. If you like to buy something special for that someone special, you can consider yourself on the safe shopper list this year. I like to try and put some effort into uh, getting something they really want to uh, might be interested in. But I think if you don't know the person as well, a gift card is probably a better choice if you're not sure what to get. Scott Cook is with the State Department of Consumer Affairs. He says as Santa's sleigh is getting loaded, gift card scam complaints are piling up. If you absolutely have to buy a gift card, there are some things you can do to make the process safer. I also want to consider stores that keep those gift cards behind the register. Those are going to be a little bit more secure. So what happens when you realize the card you bought or the card you received has been compromised? Call your credit card company. They, you know, they have those steps in place that can kind of help you get that money back. Columbia Police Criminal Investigations Bureau Commander Captain Jack Sheard says they're expecting to see more gift card scam cases this year. It's a 50% increase from this year to last year. Police say it starts with the bad guys taking the gift cards from the store, getting the important information off of it, and then waiting for you to do the rest. They'll take it back to the store, seal it back up, put it back on the rack. Then you, the consumer, will purchase it, put money on it, and as soon as it's been activated, they have access to the, to the funds. A study showed 23% of the people that got cards or gave cards last year were victims of this type of fraud. If the guys on the naughty list happen to pull your name, report it to the police immediately so they can start the process of hopefully taking the coal out of your stocking. Call your local law enforcement, report the crime. Scammers are everywhere. And so everything that you do, somebody is going to try to interrupt it or disrupt it. And that should not deter you from still doing something good for somebody else. So what is the best way to give a gift card? Well, you need to give it in the digital format. Go to the website of the store you want to purchase it and then send it as an e-gift card. It'll show up in the recipient's email and they can enjoy the gift from there. It's definitely not as fun as handing over a gift card, but it's definitely safer for sure. So some other tips from the Better Business Bureau to keep yourself safe from holiday scams. Look out for fake text saying you've been hacked. The Bureau says they receive tons of reports of fake emails from big companies like Amazon or PayPal saying you've been hacked, asking you to log into your account. They recommend being extra cautious and contacting the business directly. The holidays are a great time to give out, uh, to look out for fake charities. Give a lookout for fake charities. Donors are advised to look out for fraudulent charities and scammers pretending to be individuals who are in, new, in need. Avoid impromptu donation decisions to unfamiliar organizations.